All right, so there are so many true wireless buds out there. AirPods Pro, Galaxy Buds Pro, Soundcore, Edify, uh, Sennheiser, you name it, so many. But Sony is back with the WF-1000 Mark IVs. And yes, the naming structure takes you off to another tangent, but we're here to find out if it's really that good against the AirPods Pro. Let's jump in. All right, guys. So the WF Mark IVs are available. Or they announced the right here, and we're taking a look at how they match with the AirPods Pro. If you're watching us for the very first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification icon to watch more videos like this on this channel. Now, Sony has had a huge heritage with audio. I've got Sony WH Mark IVs, aka the over-the-ear headphones, but the True Wireless Buds have had a mixed reaction from people. They've got great audio with the WF uh, Mark III's, but the microphone quality has been abysmal. Now, the XB700s have brought in some really good bass and sweet audio for the bass crowd, and the SB700 really hit the mark on where it should be, but it was a bit bulky. Introducing the Mark IVs. The Mark IVs, the WF Mark IVs look really nice, they are much smaller in size and they can compete directly against the AirPods Pro. So what does it have? So the Mark IVs have wireless charging, just like the AirPods Pro, and also has fast charging through USB Type-C, which should give you 60 minutes of use with just a five minute charge, which is slightly better than what the AirPods Pro actually brings to the table. Now in terms of battery life, we're looking at eight hours of battery life with ANC, and ANC off, 12 hours of battery life, just on the earbuds. On, with the case combined, you've got 36 hours. So that is longer than what the AirPods Pro provide, which is about 5.5 to 6 hours and 24 hours with the case. So you can stack it whichever you want, want to right there. Now, when it comes to audio, both of them have really, really nice audio. Now, the AirPods Pro do a really good job. I can be an Apple hater sometimes, but Apple does a fantastic job here with this. It doesn't support LDAC or any other extended codecs, but it does a really good job with audio. Now, when it comes to the Sony WF Mark IVs, they support LDAC, it's got DSS Extreme, it's got a new um, audio uh, chipset to give you the best kind of audio possible, and also supports high-res audio. So you're getting a full range of audio support on this device that a lot of people will definitely like. Now, when it comes to active noise cancellation, this is the big thing that most people care about. Me, I do care about it, but you guys care about it much more. The AirPods Pro do a fantastic job with noise cancellation, especially if you pair them with the right ear tips, like the Comply Foam I usually use, then you're getting some really supreme noise cancellation. Now, Sony has always done a good job with noise cancellation, and it's no different here with the um, WF uh, Mark IVs. Now, the Mark IVs has some really improved noise cancellation, is what Sony is trying to bring to the table, and it also has adapted sound, basically trying to match the noise cancellation to your environment. So if it's more quiet, like where I am right now, or if it's in a train, it will automatically switch to match where you are, and it will check the atmospheric pressure to make sure that, that works. Now, when it comes to having conversations, that's also something that the AirPods Pro do a really good job. The microphone on there is fantastic, it's clear, it's crisp. Sony has had a bad record on this. Now, the SB700 have done a much better job, but Sony's trying to prove that with the WF Mark IVs, and I apologize, Sony has some very weird names, so, you're probably confused going SB, F, W, XB, Mark, whatever, but that's Sony. But the Mark IVs have uh, multiple microphones as well as also bone conducting technology to improve your microphone quality to give you much clearer and crisper sound, which we'll have to see when we do a full review, but I'm sure Sony has learned a lesson from that in total. I think when you look at both headphones, you're gonna get some really nice supreme quality from them. Sony does offer a little bit more with its application that has a much more robust app for EQs, also has functions like speak to chat, which allows you to basically start talking and it stops your music. You don't have to hit pause or anything. And once you stop talking, your music continues to play. So the Mark IVs have a lot of features that I think a lot of people will be excited to see. 
Hopefully, if you like the pricing, it's something you can pick up. If not, the AirPods Pro are definitely something you pick up, or at least if you're in the Apple ecosystem. So, what do you guys think? The Mark IVs from Sony or the uh, AirPods Pro? Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Definitely use the link if you want to pick up any of the AirPods I mentioned in this video. Otherwise, subscribe and enjoy your entertainment. Five minutes and 30.